All you have to do is look around and you see a lot of people in that courtroom who are there without lawyers. It's disconcerting to sit there as an attorney and sometimes just very painful to watch them attempt to navigate that. It may be it's the only choice that they have. It's kind of like watching a car wreck and there's nothing you can do to stop the car wreck. It makes you want to jump up and jump in at times. And I know there's a large part who have done that in the past, but it's a very frequent occurrence that, that, that plays out all too often. Yes, you can spot them. You, you, you can almost identify this person doesn't understand what the process is. What we want to do, I think what the Tennessee Supreme Court wants to do, what, the, what this effort for access to justice, what we want to do is we want to prevent the car wreck from ever taking place. We want to tell them which highway they're going down, which side of the road they're going down to avoid the car wreck. The Tennessee Supreme Court is responding to what I call a perfect storm. Basically what's happening is, is that so many people with today's economy cannot afford an attorney. That's the first thing. The second thing is there's so many court television shows. People see that and they think they can go do this themselves. It's really not hard to quickly picture what the potential downside is. If it's a domestic case, it's their children, it's their fortune, it's their livelihood, their home. It's hard to think of anything more significant than that. You want to be heard, but it's, you're afraid. You, you feel alone. I think a lot of times the first thing you go to is God. But I think God places angels and people around you that can, hey, I can give you a hand. I can give you some advice that will bring you out of this situation. And that's what Barbara did for me. Um, I went in, she listened, she heard my story, and she gave me a solution. We can fix this together. We can do this. And that's, there's nothing, I don't know what else to say, but she changed everything for me. Sometimes clients come in and they expect to be told no. And when we listen to them and talk to them and agree to help them, they are so appreciative because we've made them feel that they are valuable and they matter. People's lives, their real, everyday lives are affected by what happens in a court of law. And it's a terrible shame if it's a bad result and a bad effect because the person was in need of a lawyer. The beauty of the clinic, and this is what I really hope can be repeated throughout the state of Tennessee, it's simple to do. There's no requirements, there's no red tape. Just to be able to sit down with these folks and allay their fears a little bit, it's just, it brings it back home, what you should be doing in this job in the first place. Giving free legal services can change lives from being in a situation where they feel no hope, they feel like they can't get out of poverty, to going to school and getting a job and paying taxes. It's a ripple effect because if you help one person, then they help their own neighbors, they help their own children, and everybody starts believing that they can contribute to our community, that they can do more than what they were handed.